Hey, what's up guys? This is Leslie with the Steps Forward and this is day nine of the 90 day video challenge. And I wanna thank you guys first for being here because out of all the places you could be on the internet, the millions of places on the internet, you decided to be here, so I appreciate you. I'm gonna talk about my day a little bit. I got up, didn't get a chance to uh, really do anything because I had to go to therapy this morning and that went well. Got some adjusting, got some, um, some other therapies and then went off to my job for the day. It was a local job, very small job, residential, and knocked it out pretty quick in a couple hours. But the customer at the end asked me a question, or she actually said a statement to me. She was like, I didn't know if you would come and do my house because it was so small. And I thought about it and I said, honestly, these are my favorite houses to do because I get to connect with the customer and that's my favorite part of the job. And this is also my community and I wanna take care of the people in my community. So when I get a chance to do these kind of jobs, I always jump on it, even if it's not the most financial like benefit for doing it. And I mean, she didn't say much about it. She was just like, oh, that's nice. But I kind of thought about it a little bit and related it to what we're doing. And that's the same thing that Jeff and Aaron and Cam and Chris and Jesse are teaching us to do and showing us to do is you can make a difference in people's lives if you genuinely connect with them. Um, people will listen to you if they know that you're honest with them and you really care. Um, they can relate to you. And, and in our case, they might buy something from you. So I thought that was cool that I could kind of relate something in my day job to my uh, pursuits now, becoming a better entrepreneur, becoming a uh, affiliate marketer, and then on to uh, teaching people how to do this. Um, but yeah, so since I had a shorter day, today was day night. Yeah. <laughs> so me and my wife got together, we looked online, and apparently right now in Florida, she heard about this through her coworkers, there's an event that they do every year. And in this event, there's the high-end restaurants in the in the Central Florida area. I mean, off the top of my head, there's like Ruth's Chris, there's uh, Seasons 52. Um, those are kind of like basic ones that people would probably know. But what they do is they put together a menu that's like a select, select appetizers, select entree, and select dessert and you get to pick one of each and it's like a set price and it gives you a chance to like try these different restaurants that if under normal circumstances you don't feel like going to buy a hundred dollar steak you can go and like have this menu and tr kind of try out like the restaurant and see what it's like there that kind of thing so we were like oh it'd be kind of cool to uh to go check that out we stayed on the computer for like an hour, trying to narrow down what we wanted to go get to eat. She wanted steak. I mean, I'm a seafood person. I also like steak. Literally get the meat sweats from eating so much meat. Um, but yeah, after an hour, we narrowed it down to two restaurants, looked for reservation times, had zero res reservation times. So. We kind of threw that plan out the window, but didn't give up on the date night. We went to, um, there's a artisan festival every Friday in our town. So we went there, walked around. There's also a uh, brewery there. So we took a growler, got that filled up with some beer. And then there's a local Thai food restaurant. We went there, got some Thai food, and we also got some sushi, got two sushi rolls. We both love sushi. Sushi's amazing. If you don't like sushi, I'm sorry. More for me. <laughs> so we did that, came back to the house, watched the movie, chilled out. By that time, I mean, it was about maybe 9.30. And I did not run this morning. So, 
for the purpose of consistency, I told myself, I have to go run. Just not worrying about time, not trying to break any records, just get in the habit of not letting anything get in the way of uh, your routine and your keystone habit. So I went, did my run, slower pace than normal, but did the three miles so I can get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, right now what I'm working on, I got videos, obviously the training that I'm still going through, but I am really trying to mentally map out the setup of my YouTube page. And I'm gonna have to do some research because I don't want it, I don't know if it covers, if your YouTube page touches on different things, like for instance, I want my page to obviously bring people into my funnel so they can purchase whatever I'm promoting at this point, Entra, the Entra courses, but I want to uh, teach homeowners how to uh, clean certain things around their house without hiring somebody of budget issues. I want to show people in my field how to do certain things um, according to our field or what I do, give them ideas on what I do to kind of stay cost effective, keep overhead low. Um, and then I also want to kind of, I just like a couple other ideas here and there. And I just don't know if it's more beneficial for my business for my page to be streamlined towards specifically just my niche, those people that I'm talking to, or can I have other things that I touch on within that page um, that would be just as beneficial. So I gotta do some research on that. If you know, let me know, please. I would appreciate it. Uh, but either way, I'll do some research and try to figure out on my own. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm really trying to gear these videos towards building because I, I think I'm comfortable at this point, which is good. I mean, that's progress. That's what we're doing this for. Yeah, so I think that might be it. I feel like I was going to say something else, but we can just call it a night. Thank you guys for being here again. I appreciate you. Um, enjoy your weekend. Whatever your plans are, be safe. As always, tell your family members that you love them. Show them that you care for them. Show them that you care for them. Not just say it. Because it really makes a difference if they see it as well. If you follow through, that's huge for you. Yeah. Can't think of anything else right now. But I will see you guys tomorrow for day 10. Thank you again for listening in. Take care. I remembered what I was gonna talk about. I was gonna tell a story. I'm realizing I really like telling stories. I used to think I was horrible at explaining stuff. I just needed the right audience or the right intention. So, with what I do for my day job, uh, one of the jobs I perform is called soft washing. And I'll explain that a little bit so you could be on the same page and understand what I'm, what I'm talking about. So soft washing is you using chemical to clean a surface instead of using pressure. Now, in order to do that, what you need is a chemical tank. You need chemical water inside that tank. And then you need a pump on that tank in order to draw the water or the chemical and the water out of the tank and then through a hose add enough pressure for you to like hit a two, three story house or a roof, okay? Now my system, if you were to see my system, looks jacked up. It looks ghetto as all get up. I do hide it from people for the reason of it doesn't look pretty, but it has generated thousands on thousands on thousands of dollars. And it cost me $150. Now the point I'm trying to make is, by no means am I trying to flex at all. The point I'm trying to make is to try to reach people that are having issues 
committing, having issues, wanting everything in their life to be perfect, it doesn't happen. If I waited to have the most perfect equipment possible, my, build, my business would have never been built at all. And it, it's still being built at this point, but I have what I need to consistently deliver high level performance, even if it's ugly. So no matter what is going on in your life and you have chosen, this is the path you have chosen. You have to figure out a way to make it work. You have to, because throughout life, the only variable that's always the same is you. That's it. Everything else around you changes. And as soon as you can figure that, figure out that if you take control of you and you take control of your mind, no matter what goes on around you, you will still be able to perform and reach your goals because you will not be waiting for this to look pretty, for that to line up, for it not to be raining, to have a good relation with this person, a good relationship with this person, and sometimes they just don't happen. It's just part of life. So what you have to do is do whatever you have to do to get what you need. And that's it. Story time over.